Hi, welcome to Bentech. You might be looking for how to access how you know 101 Zipano. This is the right video. Let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at how you can be able to use the C panel of IONOS 101 and it's something very simple and uh, even me I've always been trying but uh, I feel I figured out and I feel that we should share this together in this video. So straight you go to IONOS 101 the website then you come to the sign in button here so just sign in your details for your profile that you have your website and right here i have my username and uh, email okay my email address and my password so i can just straight away sign into my profile so right from here you may have the services that display around here but right now our interest is on hosting and just going to open the hosting straight away from here and once you come to the hosting you get about six items here where you have web space sftp and ss database PHP site scan and others uh, dispatch loading. But then we need to know how we can be able to access the C panel. And you know, this use of the C panel is where you can be able to do the file transfers and so many things. So definitely, you will be able to see the second option here where you see SFTP and SS. So you realize here it shows activate the menu, sir, to transfer files using an FTP program. So from here, you just go and click on configure. Well, that is it. So when you click on configure, it's going to ask you to uh, set a password. So from this option, so a username, it's already being, it automatically uh, being generated by the system once you register with IONOS uh, 101. So now your task is to set a password. So you're just going to click set password. So once you click on this, you're going to put in the password that you feel it's more appropriate for you. Well, let me put my... So I've already put my password shows weak, but when it's green, it's able to work. So I'm going to save it. So you can see this, uh, it's already saved. And if you look at this, uh, the host name is here, the port, uh, the protocol and everything. So you must have been familiar with pro programs like um, uh, FileZilla and many others that help you to access the, the C panel of uh, your website. But in this particular one, we have already created FTP client for for our website now from here you can even be able to preview your directory from here without even using any other third party uh, application so let's check out our directory so you can see here some of your directories are here you can see this op catch and many others are in here but right now we're not going to use this we're just going to cancel this and what we need from this area is uh, we have already created our C panel. Now you move down, you see this subheading calling using your FTP account. So you move down and as I said previously, there are other uh, third party applications that help you to, to work just like any other hosting uh, company like maybe uh, Bluehost and Hostgator, all those have C panel. So this in particular is just the same as uh, the other one. So now from here, there is a few things that they tell you from here. But then our interest is we're going to download this second one called uh, Download fig Configuration for FileZilla because in this particular tutorial, we're going to use FileZilla to access our C panel. So just going to click Download. So this is our file for FileZilla. We're going to show folder and be able to see it here. And let me copy it to the desktop um, for easy access and everything. So my file is actually right here. It is, uh... So now we don't have uh, FileZilla. Let me assume you don't have. If you don't have me, I already have it, but you can just go into uh, to Google search and uh, search for FileZilla and press OK. So once you get it, you get from this website, fazilla-project.org. So you click on it and you come and pick. You pick the right program for your computer. Like for me, I'm using this uh, FileZilla client for all platforms. So you click on it and you download the file. So I already downloaded mine and it's already here in the download. So you're going to open it and run the installation. 
and be able to see, accept everything, and make sure it is not. Um, so, but I, I'm going to cancel this because I already have uh, FileZilla open. But once you've downloaded, this is what is going to show for you. Let me open it. This is how it is going to open. So once it's open like this, uh, just go straight to File and you go to Import because already we in we already downloaded the the file for FileZilla. So you're just going to Import and go to your desktop because we saved it on the desktop and i have two here but let's identify the other one i think it's the one with 16 last let me minimize and check it's actually this with 16. so i go back and uh, get import and I pick this of 16. so i'm going to open it and they are going to pop up this and you're just going to say okay so it's saying this the selected category has been imported so you're just going to say okay and once it's okay you just go back to file again and go to site manager from here you're going to select this the one of 16 is here so uh, from here it's going to say you don't go you're not going to change anything and even this you just leave it it's going to ask for you a password when you say connect so then you put in the password that you entered from the other side where you set it so i'm going to say connect then you type in your password So then you say okay so you can see it's going to connect from here and it will pop up this that uh, some of just a simple warning or anything but it doesn't have any effect you just go and say okay and it's going to take you in see this is our c panel and you can be able to access everything here you can be able to install files everything like for example let me open logs here so you can see the logs if you want access to the uh ht access you can do everything here uh all the things the traffic but you have to be very very careful as you're accessing your files from here because you're dealing with your website directly you can easily crash make sure before you start doing this back up everything have a copy of your website on your separate file or on your desktop before you start using because this is already you know what cpanel means so thank you guys if you like this video please subscribe in the next tutorial i'll be bringing you more details on uh my reviews on ionos and also other websites so thank you very much i wish you the best